Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here. Good morning. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. We are in continuing the book of 1 Corinthians, Paul's letter to the Church of Corinth, and we are in chapter 11. And uh, this chapter is one of those chapters that you really have to do some pondering, do some thinking, do some uh, research on context. And so I'm going to encourage us to do that. Um, and uh, we'll start by reading it, and then we'll, we'll have some, some thoughts. The title of this chapter in um, my Bible is Instructions for Public Worship. And Paul says, I'm so glad that you always keep me in your thoughts and that you're following the teachings I passed on to you. But there is one thing I want you to know. The head of every man is Christ, the head of a woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. A man dishonors his head if he covers his head while praying or prophesying, but a woman dishonors her head if she prays or prophesies without a covering on her head, for this is the same as shaving her head. Yes, if she refuses to wear a head covering, she should cut off all her hair. But since it is shameful for a woman to shave her hair, cut to have her, their, her hair cut or her head shaved, she should wear a covering. A man should not wear anything on his head when worshiping, for a man is made in God's image and reflects God's glory. A woman reflects man's glory. For the first man didn't come from woman, but the first woman came from man. And man was not made for woman, but woman was made for man. For this reason, and because the angels are watching, a woman should wear a covering on her head to show she is under authority. But among the Lord's people, women are not independent of men, and men are not independent of women. For although the first woman came from man, every other man was born from a woman, and everything comes from God. Judge for yourselves. Is it right for a woman to pray to God in public without, wearing, without covering her head? Isn't it obvious that it's disgraceful for a man to have long hair? Isn't, and isn't long hair a woman's pride and joy? For it has been given to her as a covering. But if anyone wants to argue about this, I simply say that we have no other custom than this, and neither do God's other churches. So <clears throat> these verses through verse 16, um, in today's context, seem really, really weird. Um, Paul is talking about uh, the natural order of things. He's talking about order and worship, how things should be. And we could could uh, spend a long time diving into um, what he is talking about. And I want to encourage you, not just with this uh, portion of scripture, but with every portion of scripture, do your own deep dive. Find out what the context was in which it was written, who it was being written to, and how it applies to today. Obviously, there are some things here that we look at in our culture and we say, huh? Paul was saying what? Well, we have to understand what was going on then. But I am convinced <clears throat> the deeper lesson for us today is the importance of truly diving in and digging into the word of God. We far too often take things out of context. We far too often um, don't take the time to, to understand what is being said, to whom it's being said, and in and, and what context it was being said. And I think we would do well to uh, spend some time diving into what God's word is talking about. Um, there are many examples of that, but I, but I think when when God encourages us to be in his word each and every day, it is intended to be more than just surface level reading. Now, there are many scriptures that we can, we can simply read on the surface and understand them, and, uh, and we're fine with that. But there are, there are subjects and there are uh, passages that we need to dig deep into. This is one of them. So our takeaway today is this. The word of God is vitally important to our everyday lives, but we have got to do the hard work sometimes 
to find out exactly what God is saying to us. So that's my encouragement for us today. Let us spend time doing that. Let us, let the word of God fill us, but let's do our part in that. Let's find out what God is truly saying to us. Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, for another day of life. Thank you for your, your word. And um, Father, we thank you for the difficult parts of it that are difficult for us to understand, difficult for us to, to buy into because of cultural things or uh, different situations in life. But we thank you that your word has been given to us to help us to understand the order of things, the, um, the spiritual nature of things, and, and, and more than anything, how much you truly love us and, and want our lives to be honoring to you. So help us today, Father, to, to dive deep into your word and to not just take it at the surface level, but to truly dig down so that those roots will grow deep in our lives. And we thank you and we praise you for Jesus and for the word. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Well, I pray you'll have a wonderful Wednesday, and until tomorrow, as always, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace, and may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.